Hey, Grand Rising Tribe, happy Friday. I am doing my walk. Walk in and you talk it. Walk in and you talk it. <laughs> my favorite combination on my frequency with my colors. Oh, my chakra colors. Anyway, how's everyone doing today? I feel really good. See, I'm walking better. I'm not like this in the video. <laughs> so, after... Um, uh, boot camp this morning um, it, they didn't hold us too long so uh, everybody is uh, in DC well a lot of people are in DC for effect fitness and uh, so the person running the boot camp today uh, he started at maybe because I missed the first part of it <laughs> so it was somewhere around 6 um, 5 40 or something then he stopped it it was 6.22 by the time I took my photo op. <laughs> anyway, so um, I was thinking about some things. And uh, here, I'll let you on. This is part of what I get to see. This is actually the sixth lake um, that I get to walk by every day. And I was just talking to Love. And I was like, love. <laughs> you all know I like my numbers, my patterns, my different things like that. I'm uh, practicing enjoying the enjoying being a Virgo instead of the whole, like, who wants to be a Virgo? No one has time for all that. You're too much. Got too much going on, Virgo. And you're not going to bring it down. That's the thing. <laughs> So uh, anyway, I've been practicing, enjoying the things that I um, understand about the Virgo part and then the things that give me challenges, you know, embracing those things too, because those are my shadow. So here's the, let's see, if I can show you all the birds. Yeah. So anyway, we are on the countdown. Just made our last... Um, payment on our condo and now we're getting ready to transition oh there's some more ducks you all can see them getting ready to transition into our home and it's just been it's just been amazing like amazing you know um, I'm gonna tell you all so much stuff in here and I'll just be dropping opportunities for you all to connect with me by sharing what I used and if you guys want to once you all get your um, so basically what you do is you have to DM me for it the name escapes me right now but anyway this guy has created this software and um, I actually got it from uh, Nina Dunham who does the cardiology and I took her um, cardiology class um, number one and it was really great and um, I also had a one-on-one -on -one, um, session with her before that and in January and it was really pivotal pivotal in getting me to a space where I can receive everything that I have now and I just was blind to everything that I could possibly have. I didn't want to hear it, didn't want to talk about it, because all I was at was in a space where I was done. I was through. I had enough. I worked on myself enough. I'm not talking about that shit no more. You know, I'm done. I just have to move in my own space, in my own way. And this was so helpful to me because where uh, Virgo and Aquarius, when you look at the chart, they have a 1% chance of getting along. When you look at our cards, I'm 10 of diamonds, he's 5 of spades. It, those connections are excellent. And just as recently as a couple of days ago, when I was, um, I really didn't even want to do the birth chart, but it was part of, um, what Big Eric does, he goes through your 
um, your birth chart. And I was just like, man, I run the birth chart by myself. I got the app. I'm even, you know, join this group that's free that gives you access to all of the reports, you know. All you have to do is sign up. And uh, any of the things I'm talking about, just jog my memory about it and I'll um, send you the link. Um, go to my Instagram page and my phone number is there and just text me use that number because if you use another number that you have um, that's my private number and <laughs> I'm just gonna block you because I don't know who you are and you know so just use my Google number um, I'll try to remember to put it in the description but so anyway um, the birth chart I've seen it and all the stuff like that however in our session I just wanted to talk about business what's Chiron in Pisces what does it mean for me in business um, professor Melanie was saying that where your Chiron is in your birth chart basically that's where your gift is that's where your business is that's where you know that is and everyone knows <laughs> I uh, um, was just, hey, how do I start my spiritual business again? How do I do this? How do... And it's really not just that. It's how do I do only that? And um, wealthy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And by that, I mean in all ways that I want to do something. I'm not looking like at the last money. I'm not robbing Peter to pay Paul. I'm not telling... Um, somebody know or whatever and things like that um just in all ways that i show up financially that's what i want to do and then some you know what i'm saying i'm looking at the venture capitalist thing um real estate just several streams of money because as we see in life um the different things that go on in life um anything can shut down one stream of your money you know, and however, if you have another stream, you're great, you know, and uh, so um, that's what it, that's what it means to me. And so I couldn't figure out a way how to do it. Now, I've had several people call me tribes been at my house where we do these different events. I've um, been invited and done my own uh, weekend retreat. It was beautiful, wonderful. Thank you so much, Sadiq. <laughs> Out of Alabama, him and his wife, love his wife, him and his wife and um, family, his son, his daughter, awesome, awesome spiritual beings. But anyway, and then Sufi, of course, Sufi and his traveling tribe, you can see him. Um, and uh, like I said, just go to my Instagram and you'll be able to see um, the people that I follow and, and the people that I mention um when i'm you know when i'm doing these uh these posts and so anyway um in my birth chart it shows up my husband shows up in my birth chart in another way you know and it's just like oh, sorry, i'm walking a little bit faster than when i first met him um it just was I'm telling you, it was a spiritual experience. It was beautiful. It was wonderful. And it, sometimes I was doubting it, you know, when stuff gets turned up. And, you know, I'm not one to stay. I'm not one to stay. In fact, he's the first one I stayed with. <laughs> I'm not one to stay. I'm just like, do some out. Like, I don't have to put up with nothing. I don't have to listen to nothing. I don't have to know nothing coming out your mouth nothing and I'm fine I'm always fine you know what I'm saying all that BS Kevin Samuel stuff on that way where they're like scaring people and this and that dudes been married three times divorced three times look number four <laughs> but prior to love married three times divorced three times you know I always had somebody unless I didn't want to have somebody you know what I'm saying that's not even the point the point is, it's like to be true to yourself. And I'm not saying anywhere I don't want to stay. And I'm definitely not listening to you. Because even if you could move the sun, moon, and stars, you're moving your sun, moon, and stars. So, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, um, it was just beautiful to see him in 
in my chart because it's like um, our spiritual connection, beautiful, wonderful. At the same time, he still has his way that he sees the spiritual world and I have mine and there's room for both. And at different times when I just need to have that connection, you know, and remind myself of this is the person that you love and you know you're not leaving. So stop causing yourself all the consternation. Because, you know, at the end of the day, whether a person is healed or not to a certain degree, and know this, I'm not talking about anyone um, getting their brains beat out or allowing your children to be beat and all the other horrendous things that can happen to women and children and elderly. No one's talking about that. We're talking about where... Um, you have a conflict in your personality and the way that you do things and that's why you're leaving somebody you know we're not even talking about the arguing if someone's just arguing or going to a hundred just walk past them put yourself in your room lock the door if you have to turn your music up until they wear themselves out if you're not engaging you're not engaging so that's what I'm talking about just let that person whatever because in those spaces they're going to find themselves. They're not going to find you. They'll be coming back to apologize. <laughs> you know, they'll get through it and over it. Because they'll see that you don't have nothing for them. You can go in your car, go do your own thing. At the times when you and your partner aren't getting along, that's a perfect time for you to invest in yourself. Because hell, they don't care if you're gone to the gym all day. And I'm in an open relationship, so... <laughs> There's plenty of ways to go um, for my husband, uh, which I love, love, love being in an open relationship. But that's another, it's another story. <laughs> anyway, it causes you, you got to really see yourself and tap into yourself to be able to encompass, you know, all those different levels of love and connection, which I like. I mean, it's exciting to me to have the different um connections and levels and personalities and and opportunities to grow on all levels and opportunity to see yourself in ways that you don't even think that you project yourself that way you know it's it's good <laughs> so anyway um, I'll let our wife come and tell her story and maybe um, our husband will come tell he is probably not <laughs> you may catch him when we start doing our um retreats and stuff um once we get settled into the house and i'm so excited because i was born um september 1st 12 35 a.m and we will actually be moving in um after midnight so um at 1201 is september 1st and <laughs> 35 minutes into it we'll be you know officially in in the house so i love i love that that's so exciting for me so anyway um with the retreat you'll probably catch him from there on the um retreat he's aquarius so you know he's not trying to be <laughs> all on social media and all that stuff like that you know but anyway um just really excited um about you know just the countdown 41 days 41 days and just being into our home and just like knowing all the things that you know just excited for Atlanta tribe to come Alabama tribe to come for Sufi and his wandering tribe to come and then anyone else who wants to um, come and join in and of course as we get the property up and running more and more and well expanding because we're getting it up and running now and then expanding it in the meantime you know the beach is right there um the pool is up the street until we put our pool in and every single restaurant type of food think of key west think of key west and that's where we are <laughs> so basically you walk two blocks up from our house and then you just turn right go down the strip um there's a uh, fairfield Mar marriott two blocks from our house so 
Um, I've had tribes, they sleep on mattresses, sleep on the floor. Um, we have a huge backyard, so you can come pitch your tent out there if you want to be out there. We have the fire pit out there, all of that stuff. So just looking so forward to the tribe and different masters coming in with their people and just getting getting to enjoy you know where you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to be right at the beach right at every restaurant that you want right at the pool jump in the golf cart ride around bicycles whatever Love's even talking about getting those Segways, <laughs> Segway scooters, everything, you know. You know, I love being outside. <laughs> Basketball court right up the street, Olympic pool, all these other kind of things. And so looking forward to sharing all of that with Tribe and then having those moments where just anywhere you're sitting down and you can have your one-on-one -on -one session or a couple of you all sitting at the master's feed and talking about stuff looking forward to mama cooking the vegan meals in the kitchen the healthy meals in the kitchen just all of that so man it just feels good and it's friday <laughs> so you know just man it's like if you could take a break from yourself like i'm 57 and i started on this part in 2016 I started working on myself in the early um, I got the call to work on myself in the early 1990s and I just want to offer to you all you don't have to take that long it's, it's nothing wrong with with it you know however long it takes however you know it's just man just drop all of that past all of that stuff all of that hurt all of that pain all of that trauma just drop it just drop it and begin your life not nothing is holding you back from your beautiful wonderful life but yourself not nothing it's like cut those people off for a while distance yourself from those people for a while and just say you know what i'm taking a sabbatical taking a sabbatical from my trauma i'm taking a sabbatical for everything that triggers me i'm just taking a sabbatical you have a right to take a sabbatical and then just pursue your pursue yourself so basically with this um program that the guy runs it will tell you every planet in your cards for every 52 days from your birthday and so using that, um, just looking at that and seeing the other side of yourself, seeing the other side of trauma, seeing what your Mercury is like, what your Jupiter is like, Uranus, Neptune, all that. Just see yourself a different way. And that's what the modalities allow you to do is just see yourself a different way. And for me, that's where I started seeking other things. It's like, okay. I've heard it all, seen it all, whatever. We know what Virgos are. And it was just so limiting to just be this Zodiac, you know? And for me, it's like it always has to be more. Everyone's experiences aren't the same, this and that. And then especially knowing that my husband, who I just love, 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 love. I know he's like, oh my God, stop, get away. <laughs> uh, that um, 1%, you know? And so that's a challenge in itself. It's like, what else is going on? And so these other modalities allow you a way to see yourself outside of the trauma that you've been steeped in, outside of the cycles that you're finding yourself locked in and the patterns and stuff like that. I'm telling you, just DM me and just talk. And I will point out your patterns. <laughs> You know, that's the thing, Virgo thing, patterns, all that kind of stuff. It's like, just free yourself from them. Free yourself from people, places, things, whatever. And then see um, what your life is. Hold on, guys. I walk faster. Oh, wow. 7.56. Sweet, 756. 
had not done under an hour in, I don't know how long. Yeah, because of my foot. <laughs> so the combination of Friday, hold on guys. The combination of Friday and um, <laughs> of making the last condo payment. <laughs> all this energy flowing in here making the last condo payment and all of that stuff so i just if you just want to free yourself um what's that uh listen to fantasia song the last of my supplement because <laughs> what I'm sharing with you all it is hot <sighs> okay. I start leaving my my water outside I learned my lesson um however anyway um so that's one of the the things you all can do and then basically from there um, so it's like whatever 52 days that you're in, once you get your report, it's like $29. They send it directly to you. You can download it. You can save it. You can print it out. You can do all kinds of things. I've done all kinds of things with mine. And so basically during your 52 days, um, go to my Instagram, get my Google number, and then just text me, you know, Hey, I got my report and here's basically what it says, like, just send me a clip of just that month so I can read it for myself and then I'll read it. And then um, basically um, as you're going along in it, then we'll talk about it. And as things start happening during the day, now it may not be every day, but you reach out and text me and say, hey, you know, this will happen, this will happen, whatever. And those of you who are interested in cardiology, then you all can um, go to my Instagram and find um, Diamonds 8, which is Nina Dunham, and she advertises on how to connect to her in Clubhouse, and every day she talks about the cards, you know, almost every day. Um, she's engaged, they're married now, so it may not be every day like it was before. Um, in fact, she also has, um, in mid-August, she has a retreat coming up, so you might want to do that one. And um, from there, you can see what your daily card is. You can start putting that together with whatever you want to so that in the 52 days you are looking at yourself different you know you're not even thinking about trauma this that this that who did what who didn't do what so you're not even thinking about any of your issues or problems or stuff like that you are just basically focus on the fact that hey this is another view of myself this is another vision um, this is another filter that I have of myself and so if you want to, you can even journal it like every day, just write down stuff or whenever you want to, you know, and then it's just like you're building a picture of yourself. You're basically looking out into nothingness and then you're creating yourself. And then from that that you create through the whole year, that gets into your soul and your soul is like, dude, I've been waiting, <laughs> I've been waiting for you to see yourself different. I've been waiting for you to see yourself absent of your trauma, absent of the person that hurt you, you know, because really you're making um, those things your God. They're your creator. You know, they're also your slave master because you can't move outside of them. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you do, you can't move outside. It's just like when they're training the elephants in the circus, you know, when they're babies, they put the spike in the ground with the, um, with the chain, which the baby can't break and the baby learns its limits. And then even as the baby elephant grows where it could just turn over a car, it doesn't know that. And so they really need nothing but a string to hold it to the stake and it'll basically hold itself there. And so basically that's what your trauma is doing to you. It's holding you there. And even though it knows it has no more power, your trauma for that brief second that you were in it, that's all that it was. You were, you were in that. However, the fact that you survived it showed you that that trauma had no power over you. It just has the power that you continually give it um, to hold you in place, you know. And when you're in a fear state like that, 
you definitely are not selecting a good partner for yourself. You're definitely not selecting a good job. You're definitely not selecting anything good for yourself because it's all made in that fear soup. And also, if you're having children, you're having children in those spaces. You know, you're creating children in those spaces. It's just so many things that you're doing to yourself that's worse than what happened to you. And so even if you're just like, no, Stone, this is worse, you know, that I, I get it, I get it. I'm just asking you today. Today, do you want to live better than you did a second ago, a minute ago, a day ago? Do you want to live better? If so, let's do these things, you know? And then as you are creating a habit to your new self, um, then you, you find your own ways, you know, like... Um, like I say, just go to my, I mean, it's, I listen to several people and it's just too much to keep on trying to give you their information and stuff like that. It's like, just go to my Instagram, my phone number is there, DM me and ask me specific questions or just go through there and then you'll see the people that I listen to or that I follow. And then if one sticks out to you, then do that. Cause it's brother rich on black magic, 363, um, it's brother panic. Um, it's uh, Professor Melanie, it's, it's Sister Myra, um, it's Seven Bomar, it's Q Reeves. Q Reeves is a great one. Like if you just can't get loose, um, hit up a session with Q Reeves and his, um, his wonderful partner, Naya Now. And they basically do the regression therapy. And then go back and see if it's so important for you to see what hurt you, what stopped you, what did this, what did that then go back, he can do the whole regression thing, and you can see your past, and you can see yourself, and if that helps you, then it helps you, he's a great um, resource for that, um, the best, the best that I know that I would refer anyone to, um, and then there's a uh, brother Yusuf, if you want to belong to a tribe, and basically, he has the whole thing basically legally done, where you can belong to a tribe, you know, and just find your way, it's so many good people out there outside of your trauma and these are people who I'm recommending who um you know I'm like okay these people are cool, are cool I've watched them for years 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 and years they're cool I can recommend them now at the same time if anyone goes off left it's your responsibility to be healed enough to not Jim Jones yourself you know what I'm saying I can't do nothing for you if you if you're following up not following people but you know enjoying spending time in a space with like-minded people and you go to jim jones that's on you <laughs> you know what i'm saying it just it just speaks volumes about you because no no matter what you're doing and no matter who you're enjoying in tribe it's never for you to lay down yourself and just submit yourself to another person that's not why i'm introducing you to these people these are people who basically you know while you're working on yourself and you have limited good things that are being spoken into your life you have limited things where you can be like oh yeah you know well the sun the moon the stars the planets the this the that you know all these different modalities that you can use crystals tarot cards all of that you know you can use all of those things i mean for me i used to be a drug and alcohol um, rehab um, counselor inpatient i had my degree in psychology specializing in life coach so i'm all of those things to the world however you know it doesn't matter because i'm still Gigi, <laughs> and Gigi is the gift master you know what i'm saying you come over here you're gonna get help if you want it you're gonna get it or you're gonna get mad and go away which i don't care because man the times that i just was under mama and baba bear and it was the best times and it's like they just never let me go they just never let me go and i just i just you know even at one point in time it's like I'm just staying here I don't care if no one likes me or no one this now I'm just gonna stay here and of course I couldn't stay if mama bear or baba bear did, said for me to go however I'm just saying I put in my heart that that wasn't gonna be the thing that I do so really the first time I stayed anywhere was with them and the second time is with my husband and it makes sense because that spiritual grounding um has helped me um uh, with my you know with my husband and be able to be in this in this relationship and so uh, so when you when you get those kind of good people that you can be around and it's just being in a good warm like um, 
you know, they have those springs or whatever, and, and your whole body just feels yummy and warm and beautiful and wonderful. And in that space, the night terrors, the things that used to terrorize you and traumatize you are put in perspective because of the energy and the frequency and the alignment of yourself and the agreement of yourself um, and your soul and all of those things coming together by being in communion with these other people. And then from there, you can start healing yourself, growing yourself. Like today, I got this, uh, I got this fingernail, like I was just in a state maybe a month or so ago, six weeks ago and whatever. And, um, I went and got my nails done and where they were beautiful for two weeks, my when I got the gel nails taken out, my fingers were paper, fingernails were paper. And so this one right here just keeps, let me see, it just keeps peeling back, peeling back. And so today I was belaboring myself like you did something stupid and it's like, no, you know what, if my fingernail needs to come all the way off so it could like, like it can't like the other ones healed itself by just growing out and basically what this one is saying is hey i can't heal with that mess it's still something in it or on it or whatever because i'm taking all these supplements and different things like that i'm working out two times a day i'm doing better at eating healthy i'm o positive blood for those of you all in atlanta please i think uh, you have to make an appointment to go see um, miss shauna um, she's the vitamin lady and she will work up your blood type. She'll give you the supplements. She'll give you the um, the water. They do a, a special blend of water for you. They um, also have uh, healthy foods there and, and just all of that stuff. She's really been helpful to my youngest daughter who has MS and all of those things. And then she gives you the list of foods that your blood type shouldn't eat, you know. And for those of you all who are so hooked on the vegan stuff, it's like you're able to check because I, I did vegan for cold turkey and I just made myself sick and sick. And she says, all right, you're gonna kill yourself. And I just love, oh, I, if, I, if I wanna override myself and just eat vegan, I will. <laughs> and then my then boyfriend at the time, I mean, I was practically falling out in the street. I think I probably fell out a couple of times. And he's like, you can't keep doing that. You've got to eat meat if you need to eat meat. And I was eating, you know, the vegetables and stuff, but working out three, four times a day, five, six, six, seven days a week and all of that, you know, my body needed to adjust. I'm not saying it can't live on and has to have meat or and stuff like that right now. It does. And um, I know how to manage it now to where. I'm not eating near as much meat as I used to. Um, certain meats, I just know I need to go get that meat, and I eat that meat, and I'm fine. And so it's like uh, Miss Shauna, at the vitamin lady in Atlanta, and it's like just these are just great people. These are just great people who, on my journey, I um, came across, and and that has me here and i'm just saying for you all the same thing can happen and i'm just willing to help in that you know help in that process so grab grab it and once everything gets you know a little bit more kicked off we can move it over to whatsapp and we can start you know meeting and talking where everyone gets to share you know share their stuff i have like tons and tons of energy so <laughs> i don't mind being up all night and stuff like that if I have to on certain times and and like I say for some of you all over time you guys will be able to join tribe and come here to Florida and I'm sure we'll have some events that we'll just um, broadcast you know in the meantime until we get everything up and you know everything up and running however this is my life's work you know and so just knowing that you know just my spirit just leaping for joy and saying hey this is the this is what you can do so you don't you could do this and then you can do this you know what i'm saying and so i'm glad that i know that now i'm glad that i have that now i'm embracing that now um it it just really hit me today like i said making our last condo payment and knowing that in 41 days we will be in our home right at the beach and man who saw it who knew it of course if i said that to mama mama bear she goes we knew we knew we saw all this you know i'm just grateful to i'm grateful to my husband for holding me up i'm grateful to my husband for not paying me no damn attention <laughs> as i transition to be in you know transition to be in this space and that's what i'm trying to say is like a person may never 
touch their issues or get rid of their issues or whatever. However, they're still able to function. And that's what I have to know about myself and others. And that's where boundaries come in. First, knowing myself so I can place a realistic boundary on my life. And from there, nothing touches me. Nothing bothers me. Nothing concerns me. That's that person's view and that's their my at. And I have nothing to do with your my at. I mean, why would I? How could I? I would need to know you to even think about trusting your my at. And why would I waste time knowing you? It just, it just doesn't make any sense. Know yourself. And then the people that are supposed to be there, you can look to your left and your right and they'll be there. You never have to look behind you. You never have to look way up the road. Just be where you are and the people who are supposed to be with you will be with you. And that's for me too. <laughs> I have to remember these things too. So when I'm talking to you all, I'm talking to myself also. So, all right, I'm getting ready to go because I said that I wanted to have like a, a break um, before I start on some other stuff that I need to do today. So anyway, happy Friday. Um, DM me, go to my Instagram. So my Instagram is, um, in the letter N side first is my Instagram. And then also, um, I think if you go to my about page and stuff like that on YouTube, you can find a lot of this stuff, but also I have, um, uh, Instagram. This, uh, it's my personal life path or life spread I think life spread either one of those at my personal life spread or at my personal life path and you'll see me because I posted some of my workout videos I mean the times when I work out you'll see me you'll know me so anyway if you can't find me um then uh just go back through some of, I don't know go back through some of my stuff and uh and I've given that information out I don't know what to tell you all because it's like I have so much stuff I'm not sitting in front of anything that I can like give you like oh this is my number this is my this is this is my dad so just reach out um, I'll give you the link so you can run your yearly um, chart and then um, if you want to get a, a regression um, like I said Q Reeves and um, and then sister Myra if you're just missing your mother and you just want to have a mother um, a grandmother, mother, sister Myra for me has done that. I mean, you know, she, um, she has led me to Big Mama. And the Big Mama is the one that she talks about when she's doing her, her lectures. And just even saying Big Mama, knowing that that's the connection, it's just so comforting to me. And then sister Myra's voice to me just, man, is so loving. <laughs> I just, you know, that's what I have projected out and projected back. But I love sister Myra. And so others, and so it's just another way. It's just another way. It's just another way, and I know that it looks hard, you know, and and like it can't be done. And storm, you don't know what I've been through. You don't know this. You don't know that. You know, I've been through a lot myself. It's just like it it, it does nothing to tell all those horrific stories, you know, and stuff like that. Things like that. It does nothing. What it does is this: to just know that on the other side of the trauma, the humiliation, the despair, the all of those feelings on the other side of that is this. And that you have to submit yourself to someone, even to yourself, while you're understanding how to get to the space that you need to be in so that you'll start your path and stay on your path. So have a beautiful, wonderful Friday. Wholeness. <laughs>